happening. Governor Kathy Hochul is now asking the federal government for help. She says the migrant crisis is too big to handle alone. This comes as city shelters are at capacity. The city now opening a new migrant emergency center at a Manhattan hotel. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook is live on Randall's Island, where a new tent facility is set to open soon. Elijah. That's right. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Well, the governor says she is in 100% agreement with the mayor when it comes to reaching out to the federal government for help and is trying to avoid what she fears could turn into a, quote, real humanitarian crisis. The emergency shelters are temporary, but the city and state are preparing to expand to more sites if necessary. This all comes as New York shelters have once again hit a single-day record with more than 62,000 people. The housing tents on Randall's Island are expected to be complete by the end of this week. And Mayor Adams now plans to move 200 families to the Rowe Hotel in Midtown Manhattan, adding to the 48 emergency sites citywide. We really are looking for a federal response to this, to take ownership of a crisis. With more than 18,000 migrants now seeking asylum in New York City, Wednesday, Governor Hochul said the problem is beyond the state. This belongs in the federal government, and that's where the mayor and I are 100% in sync to make sure that we have the resources to make sure that this does not devolve into a real humanitarian crisis. Mayor Adams estimates this migrant crisis could cost the city up to $1 billion. The Coalition for the Homeless adds the issue is worsening by the fact that the average stay in the city shelters is now surpassing 500 days. Staten Island's borough president has now sent a letter to the governor, formally requesting she initiate a federal response. Declare a state of emergency. Get the federal government at the, at the table officially sooner rather than later. Wednesday, the Biden administration announced a new enforcement program for Venezuelan migrants seeking asylum. And as we just heard in that piece there, the shelter right here on Randall's Island is expected to be completed by this weekend, and we're hearing that it could house as much as 500 migrants at a time. We're live right now on Randall's Island. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.